All right, guys, we're getting close to Thanksgiving. In fact, you can see Mr. Turkey sitting over there on the edge of the counter. He's thawing out because the best time to start cooking for Thanksgiving is several days in advance. And I'm going to show you today how to make a baked squash casserole that's so good that your friends won't even know it's squash unless you tell them. And what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need several different things. We're going to get you over here closer so you can have a chance to take a look at it. All right, we're going to need... Squash. I got about three pounds of yellow squash. I've got an onion. I've got an egg. I have some bread because we're going to make fresh bread crumbs. And that, by the way, that is my uh, beer bread recipe. We have an onion. We have a little bit of salt, and we have a little bit of brown sugar. Uh, by the way, the beer is not for the recipe; it's for the chef. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear off some space here, and we're going to start peeling and slicing our squash. So stand by. Now that's a knife. We're going to take our knife. We're just going to cut the ends off of these bad boys. And then we're going to take our peeler. We're just going to peel the rind off of the outside of this bad boy. Again, you know, you just want to get some of it off. It's not going to hurt if there's a little bit left. All right, and turn it over. Do it this way. And then when we're done with this, we're just going to chop it like so, and repeat. I'll be back once I've gotten the bulk of this out of the way. Ten minutes, and one beer later, and there you have it. So now what we're going to do, is we're going to chop this bad boy, and add it to the mix. Like everything else, there's an easy way and a hard way to do it. You don't have to do this thing too small. We're just going to add a little bit of onion to the pot. Again, neatness doesn't count, and you don't have to dice them up real tiny because we're going to actually cook these down in a pot of water. So these things are going to get nice and soft. And do watch out for the fingers, guys, because you don't. This is not finger food. And then just add it to your bowl. And then follow me over to the stove. Got a pot of water up to a nice bubble here. And carefully, because you don't want to scald yourself, we're going to add all this to the pot. And then once it's in the pot, you're going to put the lid back on. And you're going to set your timer. Uh, 15 minutes and then we will be right back and I'll show you what to do next. We've got our squash and our onions boiled and while I was uh, doing that I also went and made some nice breadcrumbs that was uh, made out of my uh, beer bread. We're going to be using those in a little bit but what you're going to do right now is you're going to take the pot here and you're going to take it over here to the sink and you're going to drop it into the colander. And so here we go. Glug glug glug. Okay. Make sure you get all the onions out of the pot. And then what I like to do is take the spoon and kind of press it down because you're also going to want to get quite a bit of the fluid out of there. We, you know, we don't want to end up with a puddle. And then once you get it good and mashed up like this, just let it sit for about 15 minutes to cool down because the last thing you want to do is put eggs into a hot mixture unless you're looking to make scrambled eggs. So we will be right back. Back to the scene of the crime, as it were. Now that we've had a chance to let our squash get good and cool. We're going to slide it into the bowl over here and into the bowl we're going to add a few extras. Number one we're going to add a little bit of our breadcrumbs, say about half a cup. We're going to add in about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of brown sugar. All right. And then last but not least, we're going to crack our egg. 
and add that into the mix as well. And then we're just going to mix. If you feel it's too dry, always add a second egg because basically what you're going to end up with when this is done is a kind of custard. As you can see, so I'm getting in there, I add a little bit more. You want to make sure you save enough breadcrumbs because you want to top it with breadcrumbs and then you'll take maybe a tablespoon or so of butter or margarine and, and cut it up into little pieces and put it on top and you'll pop this bad boy into the oven for hit 350 for one hour until it gets nice and brown on top and bubbly. All right, and then what you're going to want to do is transfer it into a crock. In this case, I'm going to use a little souffle dish, but you know, anything that's big enough to hold the mix. And there you have it. And since I'm, since Thanksgiving is a few days away, I'm actually going to pop this bad boy into the freezer. And then you just got to make sure I take it out a day ahead of time so it thaws out. And then, like I said, when I'm done, just throw this thing into the oven and let it get nice and brown. That's all there is to it. Another winning recipe from Man Cave Munchies.